welcome to the video my friends today we're going to take a look at teardown i've been waiting for this for quite some time i think pretty much since the uh developer has been sharing this on twitter his progress i've been watching the game and following it and looking forward in great anticipation to get my hands on it it's basically a voxel sandbox with uh real physics like the best physics i've seen in uh well in indie game uh, especially it's um amazing so obviously voxel so it's not the prettiest up close but we'll, uh, we'll dive in. There's a campaign. The first up, we've got a sandbox, but we can't actually jump into any of this yet until we've played the campaign. Oh, walk, walk home. Okay, we are running max settings or, you know, whatever. There's not a lot of settings, really. That's uh, I'll show you quickly. Graphics, it's just high. And um, just to say, vertical sync motion blurs, and that, that's all there is. I don't think there's, I don't, I don't think there's like ray tracing or anything. There's no options for it to turn it on or off. So, um, but we're running 1440p. Performance is great. Uh, so this looks like it's the building we've got to destroy. Uh, we're gonna escape through our vehicle, but we don't want to escape yet. The height 6.3 meters too tall. Hmm. What have, what have we got here? High explosive propane tank. Okay. Well, it looks like uh, I'm gonna put these around the, the base inside, maybe. Eh -eh. Turn that around. Oh, oh! Shit! That sound design's good. Nothing wrong with them there sound effects. Okay. Uh, that's pretty. That's a pretty tough, uh, tough building right there. Let's try th just throw these one one of these in. Should be able to. Uh, Oh, my health is going down. Oh, that worked. Hold on a second. Can I drive one of these? You're having a laugh, mate. I could have just driven one of these into it. Can I restart? I'm restarting that. Oh, that's more like it. Oh, that is awesome. Get to the escape vehicle. We did it. Woohoo! Don't know who those trucks were, but. One minute 41 seconds. It took me like 10 minutes the first time. Oh. <laughs> uh. Was this one computer? Yeah. Oh. Um. I'll be back. Ooh. That's the trick. <laughs> Oh, I gotta love it. <laughs> it's just, uh, just an, oh, just an urge to smash everything. It is done really well, though. Oh yes. 
Is the computer in here? Where was the computer? Oh, it's in the next room. There we go. Oh, I made it. Get to the escape vehicle. We did it. Okay, it's starting off easy, but I bet these get harder. A lot harder. Oh, oh, the other side was open. I probably, probably didn't need to wreck that. Pick up target. Oh, shit. I got one minute to accomplish the mission. <gasps> oh no, the truck the truck don't like it so much as the big big boy toys. Low torch hopefully can burn the place down. We uh, set fire to some wooded areas. We just set that ablaze and we'll go try and find some uh, useful tools. Oh shit, I've triggered an alarm by fire. Do not use a fire, boys. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo Take that bit off there. But of course, once you've done some of the campaign, which it does get harder and more of a puzzle to solve and get out when the alarms trip, and you've got to get out in time with all of those alarms going off, you unlock the sandbox. And then you unlock those maps you've been playing on. I've not unlocked the last one. You get a shotgun eventually, blowtorch, extinguisher, spray can, and a sledge, which we saw at the start. And you can just go around the levels that you've unlocked and, uh, be creative in the way that you destroy. So let's have a look what we got on this one. This is actually a pretty nice looking level. Now, I wonder if we could take out this pillar and just demolish this whole big area here. What I do like as well is I think pretty much all of the debris stays. So it becomes just a, a pile of debris. Uh, okay. Here we go. Okay, that was that was anticlimactic. Uh... Whoa! 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 Race cars. Got some, and there's a track out there. Cars actually handle surprisingly well. A little bit twitchy uh, on the physics of the vehicle for some reason. Oh yeah, nothing wrong with that. Well, the good thing is though, if you do get your vehicle stuck, you can use the crane to get it out.
And, uh... There we go. Good as new. Oh. Tear down. Really cool concept. Done really well. Voxel. But it looks amazing still for, for what it is. The, the, the art style, the direction. I'm loving it. The destruction, the physics simulation. Even though it's not the realist, most realistic looking game. Because it's based on Voxel uh, uh, technology. It's still, oh my god, it's so good. It feels so good to destroy things. The metal flexing, bending, the wood twisting. Uh, the smoke, the fire spreading. The vehicle handling is actually really good as well and the destruction and oh my you just have a look check it out if you like this video and if you want to see more as well let me know in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to have a play around in the sandbox destroy stuff and and give you guys a bit more of an impression if that's what you want of what you can do in this game but i did enjoy it well worth my purchase i think for this and i will leave links to the steam page in the description box below so don't forget to check that out if you are curious early access so no doubt more content will be making its way to teardown I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you enjoy the content I create. I love you all, and I'll see you peeps next time.